I can't fly. Desmond in Rome, Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. Who is Desmond? I don't understand. Please wait. I have so many questions. Desmond Miles, hero of the 21st century, can be loaded back into the 1500s during the events of Brotherhood. Unlocked by achieving 100% synchronization in Sequence 8, it's no simple task, but using Desmond's unique freerunning and fighting style against middle-aged goons is a pretty fun option. Alright, that might not seem too weird at first, until you hit cutscenes where Ezio is making moves on Desmond's potential ancestors in Desmond's body. Basically, it's like those uncomfortable scenes in Back to the Future with Marty and his mom, and even worse, the guy just doesn't look right on a horse. Ubisoft Tattoo, Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Greetings. Thought up a few new ones for you. So, you're playing your own custom Viking this time around. Slap on whatever blade or armor suits your fancy and get to questing, or make Eivor a little more personalized with any skin ink you could possibly dream of. We're talking wolves, runes, handprints, this one that kind of makes you look like raw meat, and the strangest of all, Ubisoft's own corporate logo in not one, not three, but four alternate forms. Which begs the question, who would want to deck themselves out as an eSports-esque sponsored raider, especially when certain actions we take as a player are slightly questionable from a morality standpoint, but that's another conversation for another day. More fitting would be the Abstergo branding as they exist as the masterminds in that universe, uh, which uh, actually can be found in games, so uh, what do you know? If you're really truly intent on messing with the fourth wall, unlock all of them for free with a Ubisoft account link, though I can't imagine seeing much of this thing. Cake Boss, Assassin's Creed Unity. Royals for throwing parties. <laughs> Bring us more of this cake. Well, I don't know how to tell you this, but if you played all the way through AC Unity thinking you fought every boss, think again. An additional fight can be unlocked only once you've found and eaten all five pink cakes scattered throughout Paris, each of which Arno miraculously scarfs down in one bite. Once you've interacted with the final massive cake in Luxembourg Palace, there is one final weird cherry on top of this already bizarre goose chase the statue on top of the dessert suddenly comes to life and makes his own leap of faith in an attempt to skewer you on his sword. The one-on-one -on -one with uh, Sir Cakington isn't exactly hard, but he does deal huge damage on any landed hit. Once he falls, fireworks will light up the skybox and leave you sitting back in your chair contemplating. Why? What was that? Skeleton Crew, Assassin's Creed, Black Flag. Viewers beware, you're in for a scare. What does roughly 20 hours of side questing and 100 additional Abstergo challenges get you? Only the best optional mode introduced to any pirate game thus far, yes, we're talking about the gaggle of living skeletons running your pirate ship. They don't lose any personality from their flesh and blood counterparts. Meaning after a successful plunder, you'll see them hyping each other up, uh, sharing in a bear hug, or, or just, you know, pushing each other around. Really, the weirdest part about this is they're still determined to sing shanties despite not having any lungs, and that you can't be a skeleton yourself. But, <laughs> look, he's, he's trying to drink, but he's a skeleton. Ride the Unicorn, Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. My god, you're a persistent bastard. Back to Rome, it may surprise you to learn that completing only the very first sequence, with 100% sync, enables Ezio to alter every equestrian mount in the game. Yeah, horses are now unicorns for the general population of Europe, and everyone is just kind of fine with it. This was long before the bonkers rideable options of Valhalla, mind you, which must be mentioned for featuring robot lions, polar bears, and giant wolves, the last of which is somehow the most believable these days. I guess that just proves assassins get all the coolest pets. But not only that, as the bond between Unicorn and Ezio is so powerful that it blesses a glow effect on all his weapons. A little weird? Neat? Big Mouth, Assassin's Creed Rogue. I can't fly! Likely the most hilarious unlockable mode on this list, rivaling that of even the jolly singing skeletons, as after side questing for a decent 45 extra Abstergo challenges, the supple voice of Shay Cormac will be forced to deliver horrendous one-liners to everyone's dismay. Like after landing a headshot and then he says, 
That's how you get ahead in life. Similar to Black Flag's pirate speak, except uh, far more out of character, charming, and ridiculous. No longer can you just climb something tall or get into combat without the rogue making some early Spider-Man level quip to himself. I could see my house from here. Whee! I've seldom encountered a mode that so effortlessly makes me both chuckle and groan in pain in rapid succession. You have to experience it for yourself if you have the chance. Look, you can fly! Swordfish, Assassin's Creed Valhalla. It's an actual fish. Sword. Next entry. The Raiden skit. Wait, okay, I need to elaborate just a touch more. The weaponized seafood is probably the silliest item in the game so far, but it comes at the cost of your time. Only obtainable after completing every fishing mission from your settlement's fishing hut, just finding the right areas across several of the game's country maps is no joke. All that said, its stats are really good, and I can't pass up on a two-handed greatsword in the form of a fish that sets enemies on fire for some reason. No godly idea why, they refuse to elaborate. Cutting dudes heads off just hits a little different when you're using a living animal as a blade. Amazing content. The Raiden Skin, Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. The first and only a few silly crossovers is this cybernetic ninja suit that hails from the Metal Gear series. This fit changes the physical shape of Ezio's body, leaving only his head from its original model. The strangeness and the details continue with invisible hidden blades, a lack of a sheath causing all your weapons to float, and the holstered pistol that of course cannot be equipped. Somehow, this is not a slap together fan mod, but a legitimate unlockable for completing 100% of the tutorial mode. Hey, at least it looks good in motion, but I cannot get over Cyberbeard over here. Just looks a little funky. The Que Assassin's Creed Origins. <laughs> uh, giant Final Fantasy bird. Am I reading this right? Is anyone else seeing this? Said the entire player base of Origins when the crossover quest A Gift from the Gods was added post-launch. As a part of an event with Final Fantasy XV, some pink-haired anime dude invades your world, drops a bunch of junk, and leaves. Again, refusing to elaborate. I can't even explain the whiplash this one cutscene causes, as Bayek watches magical swords rain from the sky and sucks some dude into heaven. The strangest artifact left behind from his tear in the Animus is the Que a rideable mount based off the chocobo, but I guess even the devs thought that would be too silly. So it's sort of a half camel, half bird thing? WTF, guys, next time I challenge you to dial it up even harder. Just have Master Chief walk into frame and hand you keys to a spaceship. Why not? Uh, the turkey. Assassin's Creed 3. So we've seen the silly. We've seen the bizarre. How do we top this and bring it all home? Um, feeding a turkey during the American Revolution with a secret code gives it a little assassin hood. Uh, once again, walking up to a seemingly ordinary turkey, pressing the inputs for the famous Konami code, that being up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, B, A, start. This will, in fact, unlock the knowledge of a secretive turkey Creed. What more do I say about this? It doesn't do anything. What would you say about this? What is this? He doesn't even have eagle vision. He's got, you know, a turkey vision. Goodbye. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Mojo Plays, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.